Hey friends, today we will compare two of the best travel keyboards in the market, Logitech MX Mechanics and Logitech MX Keys. I'm using them mainly when I'm working outside the office, so I'm naming them travel keyboards, but sure, you can use them anywhere. I've been using both of them for a while, so that is long-term review, but I will keep just one of them and will give away my less favorite one to you. <laughs> the MX Mechanical is made from recycled aluminium and has no any flex if you will try to flex it. MX Keys has little flex and quite a bit more plastic in it. Both feel solid, high quality keyboard, but choose MX Mechanic if you like to kill someone with it. It's more durable. MX case keyboard is a winner if you want most miniature keyboard, but the difference is not so big. MX keys is 500 grams, MX mechanics 600 grams, so 100 grams difference. MX keys has sleek low profile with no legs for adjustment, you have just one position for it. MX mechanics has two legs, basically you can change it, it's 8 degrees kind of difference. You can rise it way higher, but I can't say I really need it and I do not use that function, but yeah, if you like position like that for keyboard, so probably choose MX Mechanics. Also, MX Mechanics has thicker keycaps, so you may like to have wrist rest accessory for it, it's way higher and typing position is a little bit different. So it is not necessary, but it's kind of cool if you have this wrist rest. I have it, so I'm using it with it. On MX keys it's comfortable to type without any wrist rest, but yeah, that's more like personal preference. MX Mechanics is 100 grams heavier than MX keys, but you get an extra row of keys on the side with delete and page navigation buttons. Also, it has full-size arrow keys. Let's talk about key switches used in both keyboards, the most significant difference between them. The MX keys feature laptop-style switches, which are accurate and stable to type on with very pronounced indent to make it easier to hit center of the keys. I personally prefer flat key but I don't mind this design. And MX Keys is my favorite non-mechanical keyboard. I used Logitech Craft keyboard before, that also was great, but it was too big and I do not use NumPad daily. So the Mini is perfect size keyboard for me. Sure, I would like to have full size arrow keys here, but also those Mini arrow keys feels quite comfortable comfortable enough. Basically switches are exactly the same like in your laptop and if you like to type on laptop you will like to type on this MX keys keyboard as well. And the MX Mechanical is totally different beast. You can buy MX Mechanical keyboard with three different switches. Tactile quiet switch, I have that one, those bronze are tactile quiet switches, uh, linear for fast reactive and ultra smooth typing and clicky for most audible clicky and tactile feedback. I would not recommend to you to get that clicky keyboard if you are planning to work in office, in co-working space, stuff like that, that will be very loud. <laughs> so better choose linear or tactile options. I have tactile switches and those are my favorite. Check out the sound. Not too low, just, I don't know, regular keyboard. You can change the keycaps on keyboard, but you can't change uh, switches without soldering them. Both keyboards have standard wide backlight, different options for hand proximity or ambient lighting sensors and letters that sign throws for use in the dark. So as soon as you put your hand over keyboard, it will light up. MX Mechanical has a little bit more profiles for backlight options, but basically in, in the cords, those are the same. You can change brightest level, illumination zones, lighting patterns, all that stuff. Both keyboards are customizable using Logitech option software. The software allows you to map keys, create macros and adjust backlight. Suppose you are using multiple computers in your setup, in that case you may like use Logitech Flow functionality, which allows you to share keyboard between different machines and even copy files between them. That is fantastic feature and I used it when I streamed from PC while working on Mac. Connectivity and multi-device support is another good reason to choose Logitech keyboard over, for example, Apple Magic Keyboard, which looks about the same but supports just one device connection. Both of the keyboards supports up to three devices connected through Bluetooth on Logitech remote receiver. The connection is stable and fast enough even for casual gaming. So both keyboards are great, but which one to choose, right? Uh, 
You are the one who knows which will work the best for you, but I can share which one is my favorite. So MX keys is lighter and I can save 100 grams of weight in my backpack if I will travel with this keyboard. But if I am traveling ultra light or plan to do a small amount of work, I will leave the keyboard, laptop stand and mouse at home and will travel only with laptop or iPad. MX Mechanics has full size arrow keys and most importantly for me, mechanical switches. So I'm choosing this one. In home office, I'm using a big and heavy mechanical keyboard and if I can bring smaller version with me on the trip, I will do that. Even though I like MX Keys keyboard, I barely use it. Therefore, I will happily give it to one of you. So to get this my MX keyboard, hit the like on the video and write comment below including the keyboard emoji. And I will randomly pick one of the comments to send the keyboard to you. I won't ask to proof from you, but let's do gentleman's agreement. You should share this video or just YouTube channel as well. And I don't know how you like to do that on Twitter, on Instagram. Just tell about this channel to your mom, right? It's fine, whatever you will do. And yeah, I will keep this keyboard for myself and this one will send to you. But if you are living on North Pole <laughs> somewhere where I can send it, or where sending will cost more than this keyboard. In that case, I will send you an Amazon gift card. So we will sort that out. No worries about that. Yeah, also let me know in comments if you like to see more gear review from me. I don't know what to do about that. So sometimes I do them. Maybe I should do that oft more often. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye bye.